Before my video, I just want to give a quick shout out to Carol Ann for my very first super thanks. Hi everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. A few weeks ago, Eric from Amarillo Stationery in Chicago reached out to me and asked if I was open to trying out some inks. And I said, absolutely. And so here I am, um, I'm going to be swatching a couple of inks from the Pannonia and Amarillo Stationery collaboration, in addition to some Monarca inks as well. And once all the ink swatches have dried, I'll do a close-ups at the end and talk about some of my favorite inks. The first two inks that I'm swatching today are Amarillo Stationery exclusives. They teamed up with Pannonia and created these particular inks and they are absolutely gorgeous. This first one is Rosa Mexicano, also known as Mexican Pink, and it is this gorgeous, vibrant, purpley, rosy, pinky color that is deemed to be the representative color of Mexico. When I swatched this ink, I realized I don't have a lot of inks in this color family. Um, I have some that are a little bit deeper, like Pilot Iroshizuku Yamabudo, um, and something that is a little bit more pastel and fair. Um, so I'm just really happy to be able to have this ink in my collection. And this particular ink is a, sh a standard ink. There's a little bit of shading, um, but there's no sheen and there's no shimmer in this ink. The second Pannonia and Amarillo stationary collaboration is Azul Frida. And this is a gorgeous blue ink that was inspired by La Casa Azul, this blue home that was owned by prominent Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. And this ink is gorgeous. It is vibrant, but it's also elegant and subdued. And what's beautiful about this ink is that it is your, it is your true blue ink. And as it dries, it, it starts to lean a little bit more on the purple blue side. And so I'm realizing that I don't have a color like this. Um, I know that I've done a bright blue ink comparison video, but this ink is just not as bright as um, the other inks that I had swatched. The closest I think might be Lamy Blue, um, but really there isn't a color like this in my ink collection. The next set of inks that I'm going to swatch are all by Monarca. As you may know, Monarca is a Mexican brand and their inks really convey a sense of nostalgia and pride in the landscape and the beauty of Mexico. And this first ink is Ray Jaguar and in English it's translated to King Jaguar. And what's really cool about this ink is that as you can see, it is a gold ink and it has golden shimmer in it. And in addition to that, it has like a beautiful shading property as well. On the Monarca website, it says that there, there is sheen in this ink, but in this particular ink swatch, I wasn't able to see sheen. However, I do think what makes it stand out is not only the beautiful complimentary gold shimmer, but it's also the shading that I really enjoy. Another cool thing about this ink is that it's the first special edition uh, that Monarca has created. It's limited to 600 bottles and it's inspired by the gold and dark tones of the Jaguar. This next ink is Cielo Cruel, which translated into English means cruel sky. And as you could see from this ink swatch, it is a very beautiful brooding kind of steely blue. And this ink was inspired by the deep blue skies that you would see in northern Mexico. This ink would be considered a standard ink in that there is no sheening or shimmer qualities. However, this uh, does offer some beautiful shading properties uh, that you might be able to see in the close-ups of this ink later on in the video. If I'm thinking about other inks in my collection or other inks that I've tried that look similar to Cielo Cruel, the closest might be Parker's Quink Ink in Blue Black, but even then um, Blue Black would probably be a little bit darker uh, or more saturated. Whereas this particular ink has a little bit more of like a blue gray tone to it, which is really nice. 
This next ink is Cardona, and Cardona is this deep wine red with a, a beautiful green sheen and gold shimmer. What I love about sheening and shimmer inks in particular is that those properties don't really emerge until the ink has dried. Um, and this ink in particular was inspired by the cactus fruits uh, that you would see uh, in Mexico. And I think this is such a rich and saturated color that continues to develop complexity as it dries. So I can't wait for you to see the sheen and the shimmer um, at the end of the video when I do an up close of all the dried swatches. Now we have Mar Caribe, which translated into English is Caribbean Sea. And it's inspired by the view of the turquoise sea um, when you're along the Riviera Maya in the Yucatan Peninsula. And this is a really beautiful, not overly saturated, but quite the opposite. It's like a light turquoise that is a standard ink. There isn't any sheen, there isn't any shimmer, but it is a really pretty shading ink. As I'm looking at my swatch book here, I'm trying to find an ink that looks a lot like Mar Caribe, but uh, I find that this is probably the only sort of lighter turquoise ink that I have in my collection. This last ink is Cenote, and Cenote is inspired by these water features, um, these holes that you would find in the ground, primarily in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico and it's just gorgeous, deep blue pools of water and surrounded by lush vegetation. And what I really enjoy about this ink, as you can see in the ink swatch, is that it is deeply saturated. And as this ink dries, it starts to reveal the gorgeous red sheen and silver, the silver shimmer in this ink as well. So this first clip of the close-ups are um, when the inks are still wet and they are in the process of drying. And what I realized is as I was doing the close-ups, um, Ray Jaguar is a shimmer ink and so is Cardona and Cenote, but Cardona and Cenote were vials that I didn't shake um, prior to swatching and so it doesn't really accurately depict the shimmer that is supposed to be in Cardona and Cenote. But as you could see, all of these inks are just gorgeous. Um, to tell you my favorites, they would definitely have to be Monarca Cardona. I love the green sheen. Um, I also love the beautiful saturation of Cenote and that red sheen that you see there. And also on the left side, I'd have to say that Rosa Mexicano is my favorite standard non-sheening, non-shimmer ink. Thank you so much for watching. If you really enjoy my videos, please feel free to subscribe. That really supports my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.